वॉट इज द एवरेज लाइफ स्पैन ऑफ अ प्लेटलेट ये ऑप्शन सा वन टू टू डेज सेवन टू टेन डेज फोर्टीन टू थर्टी डेज और थर्टी टू फोर्टी डेज द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी दैट इज सेवन टू टेन डेज द लाइफ स्पैन ऑफ प्लेटलेट्स ऑल्सो नोन एज थ्रोम्बोसाइटिस इज रिलेटिवली शॉर्ट कंपेयर टू अदर ब्लड सेल्स on average platelets have a life span of about 8 to 10 days in the blood stream after this period they are removed by the spleen and liver question number 2 what is the primary function of platelets the options are oxygen transport blood clotting immune response or hormone production The correct answer is B that is blood clotting. Platelets play a crucial role in blood clotting, forming a plug at the site of injury to prevent excessive bleeding. Right? Question number 3. Which hormone stimulates the production of platelets? Let me repeat, which hormone stimulates the production of platelets? The options are insulin erythropoietin thrombopoietin or adrenaline the correct answer is c that is thrombopoietin thrombopoietin is a hormone that stimulates the production of platelets in the bone marrow question number 4 what is the normal range of platelet count in adults the options are 50000 to 1 lakh per microliter 1 lakh 50000 to 4 lakh per microliter 5 lakh to 10 lakh per microliter or 1000 to 5000 per microliter the correct answer is 1 lakh 50000 to 4 lakh per microliter the normal platelet count in adults typically ranges between 1 lakh 50000 and 4 lakh platelets per microliter of blood question number 5 which vitamin is essential for the proper functioning of platelets the options are vitamin a vitamin c vitamin d or vitamin k the correct answer is d that is vitamin k vitamin k is crucial for the synthesis of clotting factors including those involved in platelet functions dear friends welcome to our exclusive mcqs question and answer session on human blood platelets in this session we are going to test your knowledge with most repeated multiple choice question so get ready to challenge yourself and friends if this video is helping you then make sure to hit that subscribe button below your support means world to us so don't miss out hit subscribe now and let's keep the journey going together question number 6 what is the process by which platelets adhere to the damaged blood vessels wall the options are coagulation aggregation adhesion and fibrinolysis the correct answer is c that is adhesion adhesion is the initial step where platelets stick to the exposed collagen of the damaged blood vessels question number 7 which blood cell type is responsible for the production of platelets the options are neutrophils eosinophils megakaryocytes or monocytes the correct answer is c that is megakaryocytes Megakaryocytes are large cell in the bone marrow that give rise to platelets through a process called thrombopoiesis. Question number 8. What is the function of platelet derived growth factor PDGF? Your options are stimulate platelet production, promote blood clot dissolution, induce cell division and tissue repair or inhibit inflammation the correct answer is c that is induce cell division and tissue repair pdgf plays a key role in promoting cell division and tissue repair 
contributing to wound healing. Question number nine. What is the condition characterized by an abnormally low platelet count? The options are thrombocytosis, hemophilia, leukopenia, or thrombocytopenia. The correct answer is D, that is thrombocytopenia. Thrombocytopenia is a condition where there is a lower than normal platelet count, leading to an increased risk of bleeding. Question number 10. Which anticoagulant medication primarily affects platelet function? The options are Varfarin, Heparin, Aspirin or Rivaroxaban. The correct answer is A that is Aspirin. Aspirin inhibits platelet aggregation, reducing the risk of blood clot formation. Question number 11. What is the process by which platelets stick together to form a plug at the site of injury? The options are aggregation, adhesion, coagulation or fibrinolysis. The correct answer is A that is aggregation. Aggregation is the phase where activated platelets adhere to each other forming a plug to seal the breach in the blood vessel. Question number 12. Which organ is responsible for the removal of old and damaged platelets from circulation? The options are kidney, liver, spleen or lungs. The correct answer is C that is spleen. The spleen plays a crucial role in removing old and damaged platelets from the bloodstream. Question number 13. What is the term for the process of breaking down a blood clot after it has served its purpose? The options Aggregation, Adhesion, Coagulation and Fibrinolysis The correct answer is D that is Fibrinolysis Fibrinolysis is the process of breaking down the fibrin clot allowing for the resolution of the blood clot. Question number 14 which factor is essential for platelet adhesion to the damaged blood vessel wall? The options are thrombin, collagen, fibrinogen or plasmin. The correct answer is B that is collagen. Platelets adhere to the exposed collagen fibers of the damaged blood vessel during the adhesion phase. Question number 15. Which vitamin deficiency can lead to impaired platelet function and increased bleeding risk? The options are Vitamin A, Vitamin C, Vitamin D or Vitamin E. The correct answer is B that is Vitamin C. Vitamin C deficiency can result in impaired collagen synthesis affecting platelet adhesion and function. Question number 16. What is the term for the process of platelet formation from megakaryocytes? The options are erythropoiesis, thrombopoiesis, leukopoiesis or hematopoiesis. The correct answer is B that is thrombopoiesis. Thrombopoiesis is the process by which megakaryocytes in the bone marrow give rise to platelets. Question number 17. Which blood type is considered the universal donor for platelets? The options are A, B, AB or O. The correct answer is D that is O. Blood type O is considered the universal platelet donor as its platelets lack A and B antigen. Question number 18. What is the primary mechanism? by which aspirin inhibits platelet function. The options are inhibiting fibronogen synthesis, blocking ADP receptors, activating clotting factors or enhancing prostaslin production. The correct answer is B that is blocking ADP receptors. Aspirin blocks ADP receptors on platelets, reducing their ability to aggregate. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 विच सेल सरफेस रिसेप्टर ऑन प्लेटलेट इज क्रूशियल फॉर एडहेजन टू डैमेज्ड एंडोथेलियम ये ऑप्शन सा ग्लिकोप्रोटीन सीडी41 सीडी62p और सीडी36 द करेक्ट आंसर इज ए दैट इज ग्लाइकोप्रोटीन द ग्लाइकोप्रोटीन इज एसेंशियल फॉर प्लेटलेट एग्रीगेशन एंड adhesion to damaged blood vessels question number 20 what is the term for an abnormal increase in platelet count your options are thrombocytosis leukocytosis thrombocytopenia or hemophilia the correct answer is a that is thrombocytosis thrombocytosis refers to an abnormal elevation in platelet count question number 21 Which clotting factor is directly involved in platelet activation and adhesion? Your options are factor two, factor five, factor seven, or V on Willebrand factor. The correct answer is D. That is V on Willebrand factor. V on Willebrand factor is crucial for platelet adhesion to damaged endothelium. Question number twenty-two. What is the term for the process by which platelets release granules containing clotting factors and other substances? Your options are exocytosis, phagocytosis, endocytosis, and apoptosis. The correct answer is A. That is exocytosis. Platelets release granules through exocytosis, contributing to the coagulation process. Question number twenty-three. What is the term for the process by which platelets change shape, becoming spiky and sticky? Your options are aggregation, adhesion, shape change, or proliferation. The correct answer is C. That is shape change. Platelets undergo a shape change when activated, which is essential for their adhesive and aggregative functions. Question number twenty-four. Which plasma protein is essential for the formation of a stable blood clot and is activated by thrombin? Your options are albumin, fibrinogen, immunoglobulins, or clotting factor eight. The correct answer is B. That is fibrinogen. Fibrinogen is converted to fibrin by thrombin, forming the meshwork of a stable blood clot. Question number twenty-fifth: Which vitamin deficiency can lead to impaired platelet function and increased bleeding risk? Your options are vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, or vitamin E. The correct answer is B. That is vitamin C. Vitamin C deficiency can result in impaired collagen synthesis, affecting platelet adhesion and function. So friends if the video was helpful then please do comment your learning from this video and do not forget to comment your score as well and the friends if the video was helpful then please support us by sharing this video to all those friends who are preparing for upcoming medical or nursing exams